Exploring iOS 18.5 Beta 4, Top New Features and Improvements Hey everyone, and welcome back to the channel! Today, we're diving deep into the latest from Apple, iOS 18.5 Beta 4 has just dropped, and as your resident tech expert, I've been digging through it to bring you all the juicy details. If you're curious about what's new, what's improved, and what it means for your iPhone, you've come to the right place. Let's get started! Alright, so Apple seeded iOS 18.5 Beta 4 to developers just a few days ago, on April 28, 2025. Now, as we typically see with these .5 updates, the focus isn't on groundbreaking new features, but rather on refining the existing experience, squashing those pesky bugs, and generally making things smoother before we gear up for the big iOS 19 reveal at WWDC next month. One of the noticeable tweaks in this beta is in the Mail app. Apple's made it even easier to customize your inbox view. You might remember having to dig into the main settings app to toggle contact photos on or off in your email list. Well, no more! Now, within your inbox, you'll find a handy three-dot menu. Tap on that, and you'll see a quick option to hide or show contact photos. This is a small but welcome change for those who prefer a cleaner, more text-focused look. Next up, Apple is making it simpler to manage your AppleCare coverage. Head over to Settings, then General, and you'll now see a prominent AppleCare and Warranty banner right at the top. Tapping on this takes you directly to your coverage details and a link to AppleCare support. But that's not all! If you go back to the main settings, tap on your Apple account, then navigate to Subscriptions, and select your iPhone, you'll now find a dedicated AppleCare section there as well. This gives you a clear overview of your coverage status and makes it much more straightforward to manage or renew your plan if it's a subscription. A really nice improvement for peace of mind. Now, for a little peek into the future. While not yet visible, the code within iOS 18.5 beta for hints at some new wallpapers in the pipeline. We've got descriptions for two intriguing ones. One is described as featuring innumerable dark and light dots forming graphite contours sounds pretty abstract and cool. The other is said to showcase a trio of crystalline bubbles refracting light I'm picturing something vibrant and dynamic. While we can't see them yet, this often means these designs could be dropping with the final release, and who knows, maybe we'll even see the annual Pride wallpaper collection around that time. For those of you who rely on CarPlay, there are reports that this beta addresses some of the connectivity and music playback issues that some users might have been experiencing in earlier iOS 18 betas. Hopefully, this means a smoother and more reliable experience when you're on the road. Under the hood, it looks like Apple is also making some adjustments. We saw the removal of a live storage exclave feature that was present in earlier betas, suggesting it might not be quite ready for prime time yet. There are also some tweaks to analytics related to Apple intelligence features, like image generation and writing enhancements, although these aren't user-facing in this beta. It's all part of the ongoing development and refinement process. Of course, as with any beta release, iOS 18.5 Beta 4 undoubtedly includes a whole host of bug fixes and performance improvements. While these might not be flashy new features, they are crucial for making the overall iOS experience more stable and smoother. Hopefully, this beta addresses some of the lingering issues you might have encountered in previous versions. We're also seeing some minor UI refinements here and there. For example, in the Apple Care and Warranty section, you'll now see the full device name listed, like iPhone 16 Pro Max, which is a nice little touch for clarity. So, what's next for iOS 18.5? Well, given that this is the fourth beta, it strongly suggests that we're getting closer to the final public release. Apple will likely release a release candidate, or RC version soon. This is essentially the final build before the public rollout, assuming no major issues are discovered. Based on Apple's typical release schedule, we could expect to see the public version of iOS 18.5 around mid-May 2025. Overall, iOS 18.5 Beta 4 appears to be a solid step towards the final release, 
focusing on those user-requested improvements like the Mail app toggle and easier AppleCare access, alongside the essential bug fixes and performance enhancements. It's all about polishing the experience as we eagerly await the exciting new features that iOS 19 is expected to bring. What are your thoughts on iOS 18.5 Beta 4? Have you tried it out? Let me know in the comments below. And if you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell one so you don't miss out on future tech updates. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.